Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about why George Hernandez in the Hernandez series, and if you don't know what that is, look look it up on my website, mimaonfire.com. I have a whole page dedicated to it, and of course my YouTube videos, I have a whole playlist dedicated to it. So, George Hernandez, of course, uh, heads his sort of family of gangsters, for lack of better words. And he does he have a habit of going to extreme lengths to protect the people who fall in his inner circle, whether it is his actual family or the family that he kind of adopted along the way, for lack of better words. Um, anyways, yes, he's very protective. But why? Why does he go to such extreme lengths? There's actually situations in the various books where... Um, especially with his children, his wife, that he's been extremely violent and extremely torturous and cruel. So, and, and that might seem like an extreme, except if you watch any kind of gangster shows, if you watch any kind of um, crime family. And there's various shows on television that, you know, I'm not even going to start mentioning, but you know what those shows are where there's like that solid family connection and they do go to extremes, to, generally speaking. That's not why my books are like that. I don't do them just because other people do them. I know that's what I'm supposed to do. No, I do it because I just, that's his character, you know. My last book was called Loyalty Above All. That's because that's what he believes. That is how he feels about the world. Um, loyalty is more important to him than anything. If someone's not loyal, ugh, it's not good. It's not good. He never really trusts them again. It doesn't really matter what they do. And you see that with some of the characters in the series. Um, but yes, he does go to very strong extremes. It's a way of getting a point across in, in, in some sort of, I don't want to say subtle. I almost said subtle. But in a way, it's his kind of way of letting the world know sort of an underground current that you don't fuck with his family to be blunt um it may not be something that's talked about openly but people get the drift you know if you're threatening his family and people hear about it, then that person goes missing or something worse which the first part for the first thing probably is the second thing um <laughs> they just don't find a body that kind of sends a message to people, eh, maybe don't do that. So anyways, I think that, you know, that's his sort of train of thought. He's very, his, even though he's in Canada working in his legit businesses, his mind is very much, and his, his upbringing is very much when he was in Mexico, when he was with the cartel. So they have different rules they follow by and, um, that is also a big thing of cartels that, you know, you, you go after one, you go after them all. And especially if it's somebody higher up. I don't know necessarily about somebody kind of on the lower level, but if you're higher up, it could be a problem. So that is why George Hernandez goes to extreme lengths when protecting his family. And of course he loves his family, so why wouldn't he do that? He just might go a little further than you might. <laughs> maybe if not let's not you know we'll just leave it at that anyways guys check out memeonfire.com my website you can learn about my books including this series as i had mentioned earlier i'm on social media if this is uh, you could be watching this on youtube or rumble like share subscribe all that stuff everything helps everything helps thank you guys and have a great day